Okay, right, well, guys, it's Asher here. Welcome back to another um, um, re review. Um, honestly, today, one of the worst performances, really, of the season. Um, and I think we really deserve to lose there. Uh, uh, and we did. Uh, two goals to nil. We're still top. Yes, we're still top. But uh, I'm not sure where Cardiff are playing. I don't think uh, they played today. Um, they might be playing tomorrow, I'm not sure, but if they, uh, if their next game, if they win, which might be tomorrow, I don't know, if they do win anyway, the gap is now, uh, the gap will be six points, and one moment is 12 points, and it's maybe, maybe title almost wrapped up, but now we've lost, it's, the gap's still nine points, but Cardiff are still to play, um, and now, and now the gap could be six points by the time Cardiff play, um, depending on who they're playing, but, but I, I think this is a good opportunity for Cardiff now to make the gap six points and now, uh, make it really interesting. The gap, if the gap does go to six points, it's going to be really interesting and it's not going to be... Um, a one horse race anymore uh, for for the title still I think we are going to go get it over the line in the end and me just go on and push for the title in the end and uh, and and uh, get over the line in the end I think we still have um, we, we still have the quality in in that side to, to get 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 it over the line and 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 uh, uh, get promoted, but honestly, today was, was absolutely poor. Um, we we, uh, we invited Fulham um, to pressure. Uh, they really um, came at us with pace. Um, Floyd Aite, um, all those players, uh, they brought on Shayojo um, in the second half as well. Um, I believe in the second half. I, I can't really remember. I think it was. Uh, they brought brought on Shay Yojo in the second half. Obviously, formerly of Wolves, um, who was on loan uh, a couple of uh, years ago from Liverpool. Uh, he's on loan there uh, now, and I, I and it's just it, it was really disappointing to see size was it in it in midfield was was really poor as well. Um he, he didn't really do much. Um Jossen when he came on again he, he didn't really um he, he didn't really um uh, create um a, a massive uh chance which could have uh, put us back into the game and I, I'm not I'm I am really not gonna um bash on Fulham today because they really were the better team. They really did deserve to win. The first goal uh the first goal they just capitalised on our mistake. Um a uh, good shot from Mitrovic, parried out by Rodney. You can't couldn't really do much more because the the defending was absolutely shocking. Um, and that led Ryan Sessegnon, who's been uh, absolutely fantastic for Fulham this season, uh, 13 goals for them in the championship, and he he pounced an arm uh, on defensive error uh, to make it 1-0 uh, a few minutes before half-time. Uh, and then uh, later on in the second half, um, Mitrovic found some space, uh, took a strike, and... Um, beat Ruddy to make it 2-0 and make for the three points there and it's it's only our oh, fifth defeat of the season but but I think I think um especially in the QPR game we got really lucky to win that one uh we got caught um we got caught uh, in the Norwich game, we were 2-0 up. We threw that away um, in midweek. Uh, so that was disappointing. And then just an absolutely 
horrendous performance really today. Um, didn't really show anything. Didn't really show any intent of trying to get it in the back of the net. Cavalero had a couple of stints, um, but I think it was it, it might have been comfortable for the keeper uh, in the end anyway. Um, Afobe came on. Um, he, he when he came on, he created one decent chance, um, and uh, he, he managed to set up Jota and how how did he miss? I don't know. Fulham haven't conceded. Uh, at home, uh, since Joe Garner scored for Ipswich against them uh, on the second of January, so they're 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 a good defensive side, and we almost broke that. But Jossa, um, it it just summed up the game. It just summed up the game for us. It really did sum up the game for us, um, and and it's it's an absolute sitter. It's an absolute sitter, and Jota on another day, he would have been putting those chances away. But but now, but now that chance he's got to be the the player um, that that he's shown he is for us. Um, he didn't show it. Um, he didn't show it today when he came on. Um, Gibbs White came on. He, he 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 didn't really do much again, but he he was all right, I guess. Um, none of the none of the, uh, none of the players on that field did they re uh didn't really do anything uh for us today. Uh, Ruddy on on a couple of occasions was quite uh was quite nervy with his catches. Uh, on one occasion, uh, he spilt it a little bit, but. But fortunately for him, uh, he had quick reactions to um, make the ball his. Um, uh, and then, um, and then uh, Mitrovic uh, conceded a foul uh, to John John Ruddy. I don't really get how was it, how it was a foul, but uh, John Ruddy, uh, it was I think it was off a free kick, and then it, it came in, and John Ruddy put uh, punched it over when I think he really should have caught it. So. On a couple of of occasions today, uh, Rudy w was was quite um was quite shaky, um. Uh, but you've you've got to get credit to Fulham to be honest. They they really they really turned up for this game today. They really did turn up for this game, and we we just really didn't we really didn't turn up. Uh, Cavalier, uh, probably. If I, if I had to pick the you know, best player on the pitch today, um, it's probably probably Cavalero. I'd say the best player on the pitch uh, for us. Um, that that that's what I'd say. But apart from that, it's pretty poor performance. One of the worst performances I'd say of the season. Um, we really didn't turn up, and and uh, Fulham. If it, if it was against a uh, team lower down at the table, maybe, maybe wouldn't be, they it would they wouldn't have been as as harsh as us for them. But but it, but like every team this season, they've they gave it a real go against us. Um. So yeah, Fulham just punished us for making mistakes today and a really really poor performance. So hopefully next game. Home against Reading, uh, they're not doing too great uh, in, in the league. So hopefully we can bounce back after this really, really disappointing performance uh, today at Craven Cottage against Fulham. Hopefully we can move on from this. Uh, but but uh, now the top of the championship could be very, well, interesting if... Uh, Cardiff do get a result uh, whenever they're playing. I'm not really sure. They definitely didn't play today, I don't think, anyway. But let's just move on to Reading and try and be positive, even though there, there were really no positives from this game, really. Um, but, yeah. Let's move on now, and uh, hopefully on was an uploads, and uh, hopefully we can get this promotion in the bag. Um, soon. 
But anyway, I'll see you. Uh, hopefully, maybe next uh, next Saturday with a with a uh, preview or review <laughs> of the running game. Until then, goodbye, guys.